right, I've just listened to the commentary back and I'm aware there is a problem with the audio. Don't really know what it is, uh, what's caused it, but uh, it's definitely not the quality I'd like it to be. Um, I do, however, think you can still make out everything I'm saying. And quite frankly, I'm not going to be able to bring myself to talk about Vanguard for another 20 minutes. So you're just going to have to make do. Dave, you can comment, downvote, do your worst, mate. I don't care. Um, let's get into it. Tifo here. And uh, yeah, this is, I think, going to be my, I was about to say my dad's house with you. No, my uh, Vanguard, Call of Duty Vanguard, the new one, the one that we've all been playing. Well, I've definitely been playing my fair share of the last 10 days or so. I think I've 17 or 18 hours worth of game, uh, game time. Um, about you know, it's about halfway through the second prestige. It's got a fair number of the guns leveled up. I think I'm pretty familiar with almost every map at this point. Um, and obviously, it's still very early in the game's life cycle. Uh, I'm sure much will change um, if the developers actually do sort of patch and sort of, you know, keep the game uh, updated over time. So, you know, I'm sure we'll get patches and new guns, new uh, potentially even new kill streaks, which I'll, I'll discuss later in the video, and um, new maps, etc. All this you know, usual crap they like to drop. Um, and who knows, maybe that will change my opinion. Um, I doubt it though because I think at, at this core I, I get what this game is and um, big picture, I, you know what, it's okay. Like, it's not the COD that maybe I want personally, but it's not terrible. And um, you know, again, for reasons that we'll get into later in the video, I, I kind of feel like the COD uh, yeah, I love uh, is probably never coming back. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Um, so let's start off on a positive note. I've actually written a little list out here. It's cut all going to uh, Things I like about this game. Now, I'd say the first thing is the graphics. I think it does look good. Um, I do wish it was a little brighter. I do find people a little hard to see uh, sometimes. I, it could just be me getting older. It probably is. Um, and how fast people do move sometimes in this game, and, and especially if someone's in a dark area, it, it is really difficult to see them. I mean, if there weren't name tags, I don't think I'd ever see a person. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I mean, by and large, the game does look nice. Uh, especially, you know, you take off the motion blur and all the other crap, and, you know, it's it, it, it's a clean-looking game, I think, moves smoothly. The movements are too dirty, although some, sometimes they are a little bit. Uh, I think the sound is great, um, footsteps and, and, you know, sort of the, the, the noise thing is sort of, I'd say, at, at the right level. Obviously, there's no counter to dead silence, which isn't amazing, but at the same time, I don't really find that many people using dead silence, and for me personally, I, I don't find dead silence to be that advantageous. Um, I run it sometimes as the, um, as, as the field upgrade to, you know, kind of get the ghost a benefit as well, but you know, I mean, I just can't be that aggressive uh, to, to the point where Dead Silence is really that, that or to a ninja, I guess, uh, is really that useful. Um, and on, on that sort of note, I do think the perks are fairly balanced here. Um, you know, uh, for me personally, I find Fortified to be a must, but uh, and I would, especially if they can boost um, the, the, the fire protection with the fortified, I think they'll make it even stronger. It might be worth adding it onto something like, um, is it like survival or the, the perk that, that there's the immun immunity to like flashes and stuns and stuff like that. Um, but either way, I mean, I, that, that's one thing I would think that they could improve on. I know I'm meant to be talking about the things I like and I keep sprinkling in all these little improvements, but I do genuinely think that the perks are pretty balanced. Um, and, uh, you know, Kind of, they all aren't necessarily overpowered, but they definitely all do give you an advantage. And I think the trade-off between the perks is pretty good. I'm always going to prefer a pick ten system um, to kind of the more old school, traditional COD. Although pick ten is pretty old now, actually. I think Black Ops Two was the first time they they did that what, eight nine years ago. Um, 
But, you know, given the, 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 the setup that they have it with the classes, I actually think that it's all pretty balanced. And, you know, I think the guns are, are pretty balanced as well, actually, at, at least at their base level. And again, I, I, I'm not going to get onto this. I will get onto this in the improvement things about some of the gun balancing and you know, efficiencies and attachments and things. But, you know, I think you can do fairly well with a shotgun as you can do with an assault rifle, as an LMG, a marksman rifle. Obviously, subs are kind of my preferred thing. And, you know, fucking, I get sniped enough to know that those are pretty uh, viable too. So I think they've done a good job with that. Um, and, you know, the other thing I would say that's really good is the, the amount of content, you know, actually we do have quite a lot of guns and maps and, and actually, I mean, definitely, you know, I think it's 16 maps, you know, that really does help to keep the game fresh and, you know, with all the different game modes, and I actually quite like, another thing, I haven't written this down, but I like the way that they have done the filter system, um, so you can kind of decide on the pacing, now obviously they don't always listen to you, and even the tactical, I mean, this gameplay right here that on, on Das House, this is meant to be tactical, but if you're playing on Das House, everything splits. Um, but it does kind of work, and you, you can have some sort of control over, all right, I just want to play this game mode at this sort of pacing, and that is quite a nice, um, quite a nice touch. Um, and, the, you know, the last thing I'd say as well, you know, I was talking to Rob about this actually last night. This game is like the sequel to Modern Warfare 2019. So I don't know if that makes it Modern Warfare 2 2 or Second Modern Warfare, Modern Warfare 2019 2, whatever. Um, what I like about this game though compared to that one is that actually the movement, whilst I still think, you know, this will be my next point, I still think it could be improved a little bit, it definitely is a huge upgrade. Now I don't feel like heavier than I am in real life, I don't feel like I'm you know, going around with huge weight on my shoulders and like, I can't jump, I can't slide, you know, everything is just so slow. You know, actually the movement in this game is pretty pretty tight and, and I think at the right level where it's not I actually quite enjoy Black Ops 4. Um, but the movement on that is probably a bit too crazy. Um, and on here I think it's at the right level where it's like you can move, you can be mobile, um, particularly with certain perks and attachments, but you know, you're not uh, you know, a complete flying around the map like a you know, crazy person. So, you know, I think yeah, graphics, sound, movement level of content, general balance, I think it's all decent. I, and, and maybe you're sitting there going, well, that all sounds like the makings of a really good cold game, people. Like, what, what are you going to complain about? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> so, the first thing is that this game is just chaos. And I kind of feel like it's almost like artificial chaos as well. Like, there were just moments in the game almost every round that's like, well, I'm just going through a death cycle I can't control right now. Or when I am on a kill streak, I don't really feel like I'm doing anything amazing and, and different and better. It's just, this is my turn to have fun. And I, I kind of want to go on a bit of a tangent about this, so I will come back to that. But, you know, the general chaos of the game isn't really my cup of tea. Um, I think the spawns have a lot to do with that. I think the spawns at this point still seem pretty broken. Particularly on the objective game modes. I mean, you know, now I've got that perk. Um, I can't remember the name of it now, but the one that shows you enemy spawns. I mean, you see how fucking mental it is. You know, you could be holding A and B, and there you've got locked in on C, and at some point, no one's even pushing the spawn anymore. It just decides, like, well, we're going to give them A then. And, and it's kind of, again, it's almost like feels like that design thing where the game's just trying to even things up and make things more interesting, more competitive. I don't know. But it, yeah, I've definitely had this before as well, but I've been in a spawn trap, and so the game just spawns me on the side of the map, it's like, wait, here you go, have this flag, let's try this for a bit. I don't know. But, you know, I think the spawns, they need to fix, and, you know, I'll, get, I'll push it, it's still early. Um, I find that the kill streaks are pretty meh, if I'm honest. Um, you know, I've, I've not actually used uh, the, um, the, the jug flamethrower yet. That definitely looks like the best one so far, like, most fun from watching other people. Um, but, you know, you want a bomber run, you want a glide bomb, you want dogs, I mean, even the, the blackbird, I don't know, it's just, eh, it, you know, it doesn't really do much for me, it doesn't, it's not like, and maybe that's an intentional design, trying to make the game a bit less skill streak focused, but, um, yeah, it, I just find that the, the streaks themselves are a bit underwhelming, um, and, you know, there is, uh, again, I'll, I'll mention this later, there's also another thing that's broken with the, um, 
which I only found out yesterday, and I literally had two triple dogs games back to back because of it. But there's this thing called Dead Drop, which is like a field upgrade, which definitely needs to be patched because you can manipulate that to essentially just guarantee yourself kill streaks. And I said I actually gamed it yesterday to have two back to back triple dogs games. So, um, yeah. But even that, like the dogs didn't really do too much. I didn't feel like, oh shit, they're my dogs. So, yeah, it was all just kind of, uh, yeah, it's kind of not, not, not a bit underwhelming. And, um, you know, I've just realized this game is coming to an end, so I'm going to find another game to play. Okay. Yeah, this is the one as well, because Alex is talking quietly on this one, so I'm not sure. And it's still Das House, so essentially it all was the fucking same Um. But yeah, um, spawns broken. There's a couple of things, as I said. Uh, I mean, when in terms of the, the proficiencies as well, you know, they they've made all of these attachments. And again, I, I talk about this as a, as a sort of positive, which which it is in some sense. Like customizability on the guns is really good. However, it still seems to me as though there's a few attachments which are just way better, and I just don't see any scenario in which I am using anything else. Um, particularly the ones that improve your damage, and, and this is something that I just don't understand why the developers are insisting on keep going with, like, it was a real problem, I mean, Black Ops 4, the last quad I played properly, my calibre 2 was a real issue, and if someone was using, like, a Rampart, or an Orgo, or something with like, all the high calibre uh, jazz on it, 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 it ruined the game, because you just, you know, but it, I can hit you first, I can be on the target more, but you just literally need less bullets to kill me, and you're still firing a fucking automatic gun. So, yeah, I don't really know why they've done that. I think they will have to patch that at some point. I'll be shocked if they don't nerf the shotguns at some point. Which, again, I'm sort of torn on, like, on this house. I'll be honest, it is really fucking OP. Okay. Um, and especially with the incendiary rounds. But again, I kind of feel like this is more to do with buffing Fortified or another perk to deal with incendiary damage rather than necessarily nerfing um, the shotguns. And outside of Das House, yeah, okay, sometimes they'll get you um, at maybe a range that's questionable. But they're still, you know, you've got to give the guy, if he's running around Gather 2 with a shotgun or whatever, like, chances are he's not going to have a great time. And chances are he's not going to go top of the lobby. I mean, I've never seen someone dominate a lobby that wasn't uh, that house um, with a shotgun. So time will tell on that. But I definitely think I mean, the type 100 thing is stupid. With I think it's like the vital proficiency that essentially turns into a two-hit kill SMG. Um, and considering how fast the base guns kill already, which I actually don't mind. I think the, the base gun speed you know, time to kill is probably about where it should be, but the idea that I can then add attachments that will increase my, you know, my fire rate and damage to um, boost that up, and especially when you combine that with the fact that aim assist is clearly as strong as it's ever been, I, I'm sorry, I do not buy that suddenly the whole world has just turned into optic stump in terms of their shooting, like, you know, aim assist is really strong, and I, again, I find it sometimes like locking on to people and helping me to track them in ways that definitely um, so, you know, when you have all of that, I, I do think that there's a little tweaks that could be made, and, and maybe one of them is about increasing the, uh, the sprint out time, at least finding a slightly better balance between the two. You know, you know me, like, I'm an aggressive player, I like to rush, I like to be moving around the map, um, I don't want to have a death sentence every single time I go around the corner and someone's got their gun up looking at it. I understand maybe to some people, it's like, well, that's cod, like, you know, you, you, you should lose if, if somebody's prepared for you when you're just running around a corner but I, I just don't like that kind of thing. I, I don't want to encourage that sort of style of play you know I think you know just generally holding up like you should be at an advantage but you shouldn't be like guaranteed to win the gunfight or someone's movement and shooting is good enough um you know like you know, I'm just right there. <laughs> um um some pretty good movement so um yeah I feel like if they could find a better balance between the time to kill and the sprint out time, I think that would be an improvement on the game. I mean, that would help it play a little better. I think it would incentivize more people to move around a bit more. Um, so that would be a change. And, and I think if you could combine that with just tweaking some of the uh, attachments and proficiencies, doing away with anything that increases damage, because it's just at that point, it's like why use anything else? Like really, like why, why put yourself through that? 
Um, so, you know, that's that's kind of, I would say, the main things that I don't like. And then, you know, just in terms of the gameplay and the feel. Now, the tangent I wanted to go on, and this is sort of comes back to what I was saying about it being chaos and it being kind of organised. And again, Rob used an expression yesterday, which I, I thought crystallised this actually really well. Like, you're essentially rats in a cage. And it does kind of feel like the puppet master sometimes is just is controlling your experience. And, and the reality is that is exactly what they're doing. They are, you know, through a mixture of um, engagement. I think it's engaged. I mean, for some reason, everyone calls it skill-based matchmaking. It, it clearly isn't. It's engagement-based matchmaking. Um, because, you know, these games, like, they go from really hard to really easy. They'll mix in a competitive everyone now and then. But it's like... It kind of, you know, actually for me in some ways, and I think for, for probably most casual players, and I, I just don't consider myself a casual player, I can see the appeal. Because if you can, say, play, I don't know, two or three hours a quarter a week, it's nice to get on and have every, you know, consistently a nice little mix of, you know, okay, we'll have one competitive game. Oh, we've got to make that game. Um, okay, we, you know, actually dominated that team. That was pretty good. Good session, guys. I'm getting off. But if you're actually sort of trying to session the game, man, it's frustrating. And particularly if you're playing solo, and you know, this happened to me last night. I was playing with my sister and some of her friends who, you know, my, my sister, bless her, isn't, isn't the strongest player. And um, lobby is noticeably easier. And I had definitely the, one of the best games I've ever had in this in Vanguard so far. And just generally was on the top of the lobby, you know, getting 40, 50 kills, single figure deaths, like things I haven't really done. <laughs> Um, before in this game, and then they left, and I went solo. And man, <laughs> some of the guys I was playing against, it was so so good. And it was just like it, it, it even it wasn't even like I'm competing now. It's like no, I'm now the person getting wrecked. And it's not like I've suddenly just got a whole lot worse. It's just now it's their turn to have fun. And and that's just kind of the the problem is is if you are trying to sort of play this game a lot, you will get screwed by that. And there's a certain element of it which is just beyond your control because you can't, I mean, again, maybe some people can manipulate the algorithms and, you know, session join and reverse boost and all of that crap. I personally, I don't know. I just want to dump on COD and, and enjoy it. And, um, you know, the way that they disband the lobbies now, I didn't really understand when I first started that why they do that, but it's, it's to fit in with the engagement piece and just to keep you playing and to help them have control over the experience that you're getting which as I said I can understand actually but I, I don't like I, I will always be old school I always had probably my most satisfaction from joining a lobby and taking ownership of that lobby and essentially just running that lobby until somebody came and displaced me and then it was their lobby and you know, you kind of develop the little rivalries with, with other players and you start to recognise people and you start to get a feel for what they like to do and you can adjust and adapt and they're meanwhile obviously doing all the same to you. It, it's fun. Um, on this game, it's like every single time you just come in, it's like, what am I going to get? And it's not even like it's a slot machine, even though it kind of feels like it. It's somewhat, it's preordained. Like the COD gods literally are deciding now what sort of game you're going to have. And if you've had a few good games in a row, you know chances are this is going to be a bad one. I mean, on the, on the positive, it does mean, and I say this to the guys, that like, we've had a couple of really tough games, like, well, we do a good one now, and you'll get one. But um, in terms of, like, knowing how you're doing, I think, you know, maybe I'd, I'd mind it even less if they had more transparency. And again, I understand why they don't. But if they're a bit more transparent about, look, this is a higher ranked lobby, yeah, and maybe you could even get more XP, or just you have at least the knowledge of, okay, I went 35 and 20, but that was like a level X lobby. You know, that actually is pretty good. Versus now, it's just like, well, do I suck? Did I just not play well? Were they just really that good? Like, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I, I think ultimately what it all amounts to is, you know, the, the COD that I fell in love with, the COD that got me hooked and, and is why to this day I'm still, you know, over a decade later playing <laughs> and making content and, and doing all what I do and, and thinking about COD and talking about um, that that game isn't really in existence anymore and I actually have come to realise, you know, I think I'm the minority here now, 
I always used to feel like there was a silent majority uh, in the quad community, but chances are most people now started playing in what the last five years. Most people, I, I'm sure, who who started playing COD in my Friday night, 2009, 2010, we don't play anymore. So you're going to have this whole new generation who, who never knew Modern Warfare 2 and Black Ops 1 and Modern Warfare 3 and, 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 and just that era of games and, and how things were and the pacing and the, 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 the dynamics, the environment, and just what, that, what those games were. They know Advanced Warfare. They know uh, Cold War. You know, and, and, and these kind of newer games, which, you know, have, have gravitated more towards this engagement-based sort of, you know, controlled experience and towards this chaos. And, and, you know, the fact that how many people fucking used to play Shipment all day, every day? How many people, you know, would always go into just that house? We could never struggle to find a that house. People like it. People like the games where they go... Maybe they, they've got a chance of going like you know ninety and sixty. That's fun for them. I I much rather would go, I don't know, like forty and five every day of the week. But that's not what this game is. I mean, you know, I think the two games here. One, the first one was fifty nine and twenty three. This one was sixty and thirty five. Now, for me, those aren't particularly good games. But you know, if you're a lesser player or just even less serious than I am or whatever, you know. I get it, and you know, if you're younger, yeah, if the, all you've ever known is this style of pod, then I understand why you know again people like it, and, and I've just got to accept now at this point, I'm in the minority, I'm playing for fun, and quite frankly, I'm just just too old <laughs> to to give a fuck. Um, and that's actually the last thing I say. It's crazy. I really do feel like an old man playing this game now. Some of the movements, some of the things that people are doing, it's just better than what I can do. And don't get me wrong, I've been practicing a little bit. I think I'm getting better. I appreciate I was off COD for a while. Um, but yeah, I definitely do not have the reactions or the sight or the ability of some of these these kids. I just don't. So that's something I'm, I've got to learn to accept. Maybe adapt my play style a little bit. I don't know. Um, still got the brain, still got the experience. Um, but, but when you combine it with this kind of more chaotic environment and, and the way the game spawns and and just kind of forces you into confrontation, especially I said with the matchmaking, or put you against people who are fucking going for it, you know, these these things really come out. So anyway, I've talked for a long time. How long have I talked for now? Is it twenty minutes? <laughs> twenty two actually. Um well I'm out of gameplay. I'm not gonna put any more gameplay up. That that's that is the commentary. Uh, hopefully we'll continue to post. Um I think all the guys are kind of enjoying the game at the moment for what it is. Um, it has been a lot of fun playing again. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that uh, I've called to one video a couple of weeks. Had such a success. Um, Arj, I know you were texting earlier about the game. I hope this has been helpful. I pushed it forward a day for you, um, especially. So, uh, yeah, um, that is my commentary. That is my first impressions. I may do a, a revisit to some of this in the future. Who knows? Uh, commentaries, if anyone who's following my channel knows, I don't do a lot of them. But um, the live stuff, I'll continue to post. I've, I've got a few FIFA games from last night, which I alluded to earlier, that will be going up. And, um, yeah, just just continuing going for as many subscribers as I have. So that was everything. I hope you found it useful and vaguely enjoyable. And, uh, yeah, catch you later.